Uh -huh. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Flying machine. Yeah, flying machine. Oh, maybe they would have gotten one. Okay. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> <laughs> we're here today to go over this sweet build of the flying machine oh my gosh turned out so good and this thing spins pretty awesomely what do you think of it i love it Can love we, it let's get after this build hey guys welcome back to the shop today we are going to be building a flying machine which is Clash Royale's newest card, which isn't actually in-game yet, but it is in a challenge right now. So, pretty sweet. We are going to be building that thing today, so let's get right to it. There's nothing to explain. I'll talk you through the process as we're doing it. Let's make it happen. Okay, so, <laughs> glad that you guys made it to the channel today. Uh, looks like right off the bat, what I'm doing is I'm cutting the slats for the basic main part of the flying machine. Um, in order to do this, you actually have to get an octagon layout off the interweb. The interweb's a great source for all your designs and all your features. So it's pretty sweet. They give you the exact dimensions to cut your octagon based on how wide you want to cut your octagon. So for example, my octagon right here, octagon, is that a word? It's gotta be a word, octagon, like yeah. a stop sign, right? O octagon, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, so if you wanna cut an octagon, for example, I wanted mine to be four and seven eighths inches wide, according to my scale. I went ahead and I went on this little website and it figured out that I need to cut each side of the octagon exactly two inches. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just cutting the sides at two inches and I use a 22.5 degree angle to be able to cut those sides. And then as soon as I cut one big long piece, then I can just cut the eight pieces of the octagon. Stop sign. Is stop sign like a better word to use probably? Because it's like octagon. But oh, stop sign seems easier, right? Uh, the stop <laughs> sign shape. We learned it in geometry. Anyway, you need eight sides. So I went ahead and I cut six, seven, seven sides, I think. And I cut a couple of them longer, and I have no idea why. <laughs> You'll see here in a minute. It's absolutely retarded. <laughs> but then you have to cut, like, um, once you cut the seven sides, then these last two right here, I cut shorter. Because the flying machine, I don't know if you guys know this, but right here in this, in the middle here in the flying machine, there's like a little window. And so these two sides right here, I had to cut shorter so that we could create that little square. And then you can kind of see the layout right there. And then I just kind of mark it. Now, <laughs> this is kind of where, um, main reason I'm making you watch this video is because right here, you see those little cuts that I have to make that I'm marking out right now with the pencil, pen, pen, pencil. <laughs> You don't own pencils. I wish I owned some <laughs> pencils. Gosh, you gotta get me some pencils. Anyway, right there I have to cut with the jigsaw, which is very unfortunate. Most cool people have like a bandsaw. I'm just saying. Hint, hint. <laughs> I'm just saying. If you, if you want to donate a bandsaw to us. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys donate a bandsaw to us. Why not? Feel free. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need to buy a bandsaw. And pencils. <laughs> if somebody could go ahead and send me some pencils, I'll give you guys a P.O. box here. <laughs> should I put it on the screen? We should get a P.O. box so people can send us pencils. Uh, pens are not the optimal tool to use when you're doing uh, woodworking. Just a heads up. Just a heads up. So, I want, do you know what saw I was using just there? What's no. the name of that saw? What would you call it? This one? Yeah, that one. Oh, I believe jigsaw. Dude, that's pretty good. Right. Is it? Yes, uh. that was really good. Okay, I'm impressed. Very good. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll play this game now called Name That Saw <laughs> oh, or Name That Tool. Every time a new tool comes on the screen, you're gonna go ahead and name it, okay? <laughs> So anyway, I'm finishing out, this is the sides of the windows. I don't know if you guys can tell, but <laughs> the first image that I saw of the flying machine, the sides of each little window had a little cutout in it. And I think that looks pretty dang accurate. So I'm kind of trying to hold it together just so you guys can see this little picture here. And it took me like, I don't know, a year and a half to be able to figure out how to hold it <laughs> correctly so I could just put it. <laughs> Is that so why you were in the garage this so long? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. And this gluing, dude, I'm not even kidding you. This video right here is speeded up 600%, right? So six times, I guess. This is six times speed. It took me forever just to glue these little pieces and get them ready so that I could actually form the main barrel part of this flying machine. Dude, check out those. 
I learned that zip ties are actually one of the best clamps to use for anything round. Unless you can think of anything seems else. Seems easier. I, it does seem easier, yeah. right? Yeah. Unless maybe, I don't know, maybe one day I'm going to have you go out there and just hold it until it dries <laughs> <laughs> for like 24 hours. <laughs> you just have to hold it for like 24 hours. Oh, so not that bad. So not that bad. As long, Next, as you, as, long as you bring me food. Yeah, I can do that. (laughs) We can bring food and water. (laughs) So next time I need to glue something, I'm going to go ahead and bring you out there in the shop. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. (laughs) Anyway, so I'm letting it dry there. Obviously, time lapse, 24 hours. (laughs) This is funny because I thought I was strong enough to pull those zip ties, but I wasn't. Oh, name that tool! Oh. Round. (laughs) (laughs) You're so close! (laughs) Um, round spinner. That's close. I'm going to call it a round spinner too from here on out. <laughs> so spinner. here we're working on the round spinner today. <laughs> and this is one of my favorite speed build parts of the entire process, the round spinner, because you get to see the cannon that is actually protruding, protruding, that's a word, right? Mm-hmm. Protruding out of the flying machine. You get to see the cannon actually come to shape. Um, so I'm just using these little tools here, making that cannon. That's we're going to cool. call it a lathe. Oh, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, well... Is that even a word? I'm lathe. sure the person who invented it... Lathe. It made sense to him. <laughs> His right? last name? I actually didn't even know where the, the word lathe come, come, came from. Yeah, Comes um, from. Maybe it's the name. Lathe. <laughs> hey, Mr. Lathe, can I have one of your machines? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, you can see the tip of the cannon starting to form really well right here. That's the front of the cannon. That's basically the main part. The back I didn't even worry about too much because it was going to be inside the if you look at it here's here's that front part that's what that's what i'm talking about let me hold that up right there boom that's where i'm cutting right now boom it looks really good and then this back part i didn't worry about too much because it's sitting inside the barrel itself so i'm not real stressed about it anyway so sanding that thing out made it real smooth and then all you got to do is take it up once you get it off the round cutter machine thing spinner <laughs> spinner oh name that tool uh blade saw Blade saw. Saw blade. <laughs> saw blade. <laughs> uh, that's chop saw. Okay, what's that? Wait. The yeah. drill. Miter saw. Chop saw. Oh, drill. You get yeah, the drill. Anyway, <laughs> I cut off the ends of the cannon. <laughs> and then now I ran my battery out. So I'm like, dude, they got to see me replace the battery. Because <laughs> how do you run battery out right in mid drill? <laughs> right in mid stream? Anyway, this little piece that I'm cutting right now is the actual very top of the flying machine it's the piece that holds the wings or propellers on then i went ahead and snipped those off i was going to try and just pull them off but i realized i am not that strong zip ties are super strong <laughs> and here i'm actually using a measuring tape which is a rare sight for me have you ever yes. seen me use a measuring tape nope <laughs> <laughs> i'm a guesstimator <laughs> i like to guess so pay attention because that must be important yeah, I think that was really right. important. I just wanted it to be exact, okay? <laughs> and so I just cut... See those few long pieces? I don't even know why I cut those pieces that much longer. Because you didn't have a pencil. I know, because I didn't... <laughs> and then I just cut that gouge in there. I'll sand that out later. I hope you guys saw that gouge. Oh, that was embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> well. It is what it is. Um, just basically, I'm cutting this to shape so that it's the actual right size. Keeping that window right in the dead center, which it ended up being in the dead center. Thank goodness. And now this is the very tippy, 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 tip top of the flying machine. It actually goes right on top here. Here, look at this. That's that piece right there. I just cut. Boom. Can you see that angle? There we go. <laughs> Want to spin it some more? I do. That's the best part. <laughs> Spinning is the best. Okay, so this piece is the top and bottom, basically the silver pieces right here that I'm cutting. I took probably two hours to cut these pieces because I screwed up like 18 times in a row for some reason. One time I took it over the table saw and almost took my hand off which was absolutely horrid. I guess my wife said she'd get mad at me if I take my hand off. (laughs) (laughs) And so I cut it, I think I was like a 10 degree angle is what I cut this at, all these little corners. So I just did a couple 45s and then a couple straight cuts. And then we're, I think I almost took my finger off right there too. (laughs) I'm super safe, okay guys, I really am. And here I'm marking, so what's that tool? Where? Right here. Oh, uh, sander. Yeah, that's pretty good. Bell sander. Okay, that's pretty good. So I marked little lines in there so I wouldn't sand too much, but what I'm doing is I'm kind of, I'm sanding like a a round concave. Mm. Uh, no, it's not concave because that's like the inside of a spoon. 
Anyway, so it kind of rounds on the outside like an actual barrel instead of just being perfectly straight. So I cut, I marked those little lines so that I could actually sand to those lines evenly all the way around and it kind of like, it makes it look real good. What do you think of it? Oh, it's very roundish. <laughs> like a bowl. <laughs> right. It's very roundish. Look at that. You can cut, you can start to see that curve there. Look at that. It looks that's real impressive. slick. That's and then I sand, that's when I'm sanding that gouge out that I made earlier just a second ago. <laughs> My bad. Uh, you had to make it really smooth so that when you put the top and the bottom on, it actually fits real tight. So, jacked up about that. And then watch this. Hold on. Hold on. Is hold. 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 Wait for it. Oh, <laughs> called it. <laughs> I feel like in a lot of your videos, things go flying. <laughs> you have to hold it tight, but loose enough that it spins so that you don't get a flat edge on the round part. So. My bad. Okay. Good thing our kids weren't in the garage. Anyway, this, don't tell Logan, but I took apart his spinner. <laughs> I feel bad. I kind of do. Oops. Anyway, how to use the spinner. How to use the bearing of the spinner, but he's not going to have a spinner anymore. But he hasn't asked about it yet, so. Fingers crossed. Here's to hoping he doesn't ask for the spinner very soon. <laughs> anyway, so this is just a 7 8 drill bit, just to keep things particular, so that I could drill a hole big enough to be able to put that bearing right inside it. Check that out. Boom! Put that bearing in there. Um, <laughs> and then I'm just drilling the same size hole inside the cannon. I figure if we're going to have a cannonball, it's going to be 7 8 Don't you think? Makes sense. It does make sense. Um, and I was going to light a fire in there. Anyway, that's basically how the thing goes together. This is the little brackets that I found that I'm going to mount the propellers on with. They're that's under here, but you can't even see them, um, unfortunately. But they were too big because I didn't want them to show, so I had to grind them down a bit. So I just took the grinder and just kind of like made them real nice and <laughs> short, I guess. <laughs> and then the propellers I almost forgot to make. So here I am making the propellers. Basically, I didn't want the propellers to be as thick as anything else. So I just had to cut like a little eighth of an inch off the wood. Maybe, maybe it was like a quarter inch I cut off the wood. And then just cut the propellers here. One, two, bang, bang. Oh, your fingers are so close to that blade. <laughs> are they that close I though? I felt like it was. I feel like I'm being really safe. Um, hold on. Let's pause the video for a second. The problem here is I lost a little section of video. Mm where I actually put those brackets on and the bearing inside that piece. I feel, feel horrible. I feel horrible. But all I did was epoxy <laughs> that bearing and put it inside there and I screwed those brackets on. Are we okay with what happened there? I feel, to be. I feel absolutely horrible. <laughs> I lost that for everybody. Um, dang it, you can't see really well, but those are the brackets that I put on. <laughs> Well, you can see better in this picture here, but then the bearing I just glued in there with epoxy. The important part with the bearing is you can't get any epoxy inside the balls of the bearing because if you do, then the bearing will spin. So I was super careful. I was all patient and stuff and it would have shown on camera how patient I was. I was being really good. I know. I know. You guys would have been proud. I know, really. Oh well, anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead. We're gonna continue this. <laughs> so here I am testing this thing out. I feel so cool. <laughs> Spin it all the Again, time. do not tell Logan I took his fidget spinner <laughs> apart. I feel horrible. He might see bits and pieces in the garage. No, I hid those all. And then he's not, he's not gonna watch this video either. Hopefully. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hopefully. So there's the propeller blades there. I'm hey, gonna... there's our keys. Hey, I was looking all over for those. <laughs> <laughs> here, okay, so those little buttons that you see on top, right here, check this out. Um, just right here. Oh my heck, let me see if I can get that in the camera right there. I'm drilling holes for these little buttons so that I don't have to like bang them in. <laughs> so I went and I drilled every single hole in the whole thing. I'm like, hmm, maybe I should test one of these holes first and make sure they're not too big. They were too big. So I drilled every hole and it ended up being too big. So later I, you'll see. I had to glue every single one of those buttons on instead of just pushing them in and having them pressure treated. They're solid, trust me. But I had to glue them in. And then I had to drill a little divot in the end of these propellers so they fitted. They fit. Not fitted. It's not a fitted sheet. Fitted. No. No, it's they fit. Mm -hmm. So they fit flush against that round part. Anyway, 
here I am shaping the propellers. I have to make them look real nice. There is okay, so this is a problem. There's a couple variations that I've seen online of the actual propeller. One I've seen had a rounded tip, but the other one I've seen had a jagged tip. And now I've seen another version that had three propellers, which makes me really sad because I made this one with two. But I think in game it actually only has two propellers, so I'm happy with it. Either way, I wanted to make it jagged. It looks good. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. Okay, <laughs> looks good. Can I say that? <laughs> anyway, okay, and, and then I like to sand everything up because I like everything to be nice and smooth So I sand the edges a little bit look you can see me pushing those in a little bit and they're falling out That's because the holes were too big. That's on me So I decided to get some epoxy and I glued the crap out of those things so they will never fall out Until the end of time now, especially that I painted over them now, so Should they are solid. solid. <laughs> Do not worry about this <laughs> Okay, oh my heck can you name every tool in there? Oh, what Hammer. are... <laughs> <laughs> I think you got that yep, one. Yep. What are those right there on the very Pliers. corner of the screen? Pliers? They're called vice grips. Mm. They grip things really well. So close. Really solid. And then what's that? Fidget spinner. <laughs> right next to the fidget spinner. Wrench? <laughs> yeah, that's close. You know, whatever. That's what? close. Yeah, I mean, okay. it's a wrench. Yeah, it's okay. a crescent wrench. Yeah. Good stuff. Ah, for the good oh, part. this is the good part. Makes it all come together. Mm. What do you think of that color? I love it. Like, your favorite? Yes, definitely. <laughs> we use that on a lot of our, a lot of your, don't you? This color? I do use that a lot on a lot of things. It's. It's a good solid <laughs> color. <laughs> I think it is too. It's penetrating stain, wood filler, provincial. I think I can almost see the number there if you look really close. <laughs> But that's what it is. <laughs> so, um, I like it. staining usually I just wipe on with a rag, but the paintbrush method works really well too. The only key part about staining something is you want to be able to wipe all the excess off, okay? Um, you don't want to leave any like drops of stain, any like pools of stain, because it just stains different color. That's the only problem with stain. Mm. Man, that thing's looking good. Don't you think? It is. Coming together. Okay, so done with stain. Now we're moving on to ah, paint. Ah, your favorite part, spray paint. <laughs> yes, except the 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 spray nozzle on one of these spray cans like filled up with paint, <laughs> so oh, I had no. to like <laughs> I had to take one of them off and like put another one on. It was horrible. And usually, with, you oh, see look me at that two-handed. That's what wow. I do. I mean, it's what I do. Okay. Impressive. I was hoping you would say something there. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am ambit. Oh, did you see the nozzle change out there? I am a little ambidextrous, okay? I can do both hands. <laughs> and usually when I paint these things, it's kind of trial and error. I kind of like two-tone. And so almost always on all my projects, I'll have like one or two colors going to together on each little piece, which I think it makes it look real, real. <laughs> real, real. Real, real. What's that stuff I'm mixing right there? Do you know? The glue? Yeah. What's it called? Oh, power glue. <laughs> Everlasting, everlasting power glue. You've been watching Willy Wonka? <laughs> the everlasting glue. Yes. <laughs> it's called epoxy. But you have oh. to mix it up. It's two parts. So basically you just mix mm, it together. I and it glues that. stronger than a rock when it's all dried. It's awesome. So I'm just screwing the whole propeller uh, mechanism together. And then I realized I had them backwards. Because <laughs> when I drilled those little divots, I had them like perfectly one side or the other. Anyway, I got that all together. I had to glue those stinking knobs <laughs> on again because I, again, drilled holes too big. My bad. And then the propeller system looked pretty sweet. I thought it added kind of the most character in the whole build. What do you think? Yeah. Wow. Dude, that looks so good now, just coming together like that. This is probably my second favorite part of the build. I was so afraid I was gonna like shoot out the side and have to like yank the thing <laughs> off, sand it, and oh, then yeah, re. Because yeah. <laughs> if you ever like miss a nail and it splinters, then you're in a world of hurt. So I was super careful right here. <laughs> it's always sucks whenever you do that. You miss miss the nail on the thing. Oh well, I didn't do it. I didn't miss <laughs> it, so I'm good to go. 
So here I am, I'm pounding that little piece in the bearing. It's basically so tight, it fits really well. But if you do have to take the propeller off, in case you need to do any maintenance work, I made it so you can pull it off. Oh. Just in case you have to do maintenance work on the propeller. Oh, nice one. Man, look at that thing spin. <laughs> Dude, watch this. Oh, <laughs> I spun. <laughs> this is the rope part. I had a little bit smaller rope, and I'm like, nah, we gotta go bigger. So I went with a bigger rope, and the best method I could find was your hot glue gun I took from nice. you. Nice. I figured that was okay. It does wonders. <laughs> it does do really does. well. Thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> this is the best method that I can figure out to get the rope on there is just hot glue it. It kind of looks like a mess here, but I cleaned it up real nice. I'll show you here in a second. I think it looks really good. That rope is thick. And it's hard to tie it to make it look really nice when like, you tie, make the tie. I like the thicker one. The thicker one? That's a ton of yeah. character. Wow. I feel like I'm crafting, but I always feel super embarrassed whenever I go into Joanne's fabrics to get stuff from them. They all know them. you by name. Dude, I get <laughs> so much weird stuff in there for these projects. Like, what are you doing here again? Uh, I have my 40% off coupon. Yeah. Can I use that today? <laughs> I think they're pretty happy about it. Though. I basically keep them in business. You do. You're <laughs> buying all the random things. See, I'm trimming that selling. rope up real nice. There you go. It looks okay on the back side, but it looks excellent on the front side. Yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome. There you go. Spin oh, that thing. Love it. It looks so awesome. Oh my heck. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel for the sweet build of the flying machine. Do, 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 do. Are you going to showcase it? Maybe fly it across the screen. Dude, it flies by itself. Oh <laughs> you can't even see my hand, can you? Look. No, it's like, no, it spins by itself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay That's with awesome. it. I think it turned out really good. It actually <laughs> looks, I think, just like the card. And my son thought that I should go to buy a drone, take it apart. Oh. Put the drone blade on here, and then I could have a remote control flying machine. Okay, that's pretty cool. That would have been cool. But it would have been also so, like a thousand bucks. donate a drone, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what are we into now? <laughs> things you need to donate, a bandsaw and a drone, just so I can dismantle and it. And pencils. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three. <laughs> Three pencils. <laughs> so if you guys have all those things just lying around, I'll get you a P.O. box later. <laughs> and you guys can donate the crap out of them. But here's your flying machine. Absolutely awesome. This thing... I feel like if I threw it up in the air, it would fly. I know. Almost. Do you want to kind of do it? Almost. <laughs> almost. I worked so hard on it. Why would you want to destroy this thing? <laughs> I know. But anyway, this is it. This is the flying machine. If you guys have any questions or if you guys decide you guys want to build one yourself, by all means, ask me in the comment section below. Um, the cool thing about this is um, I can help you out. And you guys have this video to refer to. Furthermore, I just learned, and this is just a totally totally selfless plug here uh that youtube gaming just added a sponsor button so you can actually sponsor channels so you just go over to youtube gaming you go to my channel name there's a little sponsor button in the corner all you got to do is click on that thing and you can sponsor the crap out of me oh sweet if you so desire <laughs> no pressure guys i'll still be <laughs> i will keep still still, still keep. keep yeah thank you <laughs> still keep building these sweet things for you guys anyway Anyway, thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel today. Take it easy and good luck.